Very exciting visit today. He joins us to tell us about an extremely cool gadget. We're going outside for this one. We, huh? we are, and I'm a guy who does not like his yard whatsoever. It, it harbors weeds and bugs. Michael, are you a yard guy? I love my yard, yes. Okay, so I bond with my yard. Yes. I'm an earth person. So this is a gadget that you won't like, but for right. me, the robot lawnmower. I shot some home movie of this, mm -hmm. so I'm going to take you into my front yard to show you my weed patch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talk about how this thing, I think, gets two thumbs up, and those are not green thumbs. Those are just two Dave thumbs up. Coolness. Because this is a great technology that actually works. It used to be about $1,200, but now they've come down. It's $499 for this robotic mower. Really? Yep. So let's take a look at my yard video. Cool. This is some fun stuff here. It has finally arrived. It's the Friendly Robotics RoboMo. And the box weighs about 80 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. It's uh, rather large, too. It's, uh, what, 38 inches by 28 inches. And then it's kind of tall, too. It uh, looks like about 17 inches tall. Inside, we're going to see the instruction manual. We've got some plastic parts here. And this is the transmitter for the wire around the perimeter of your yard. And over here, the very needed installation video. This is going to help you set it up. And uh, they even remind you to watch the video before you do things. And then we got a gauge here. And this gauge is what helps you set the perimeter wire. Now we are talking. Just pull that big hunk of styrofoam out. And inside, you'll see the robot takes up about as much space as the whole box allows. That is fully protected by the styrofoam. If you remove the RoboMo's battery pack and lift it up, you'll see it's powered by three seven inch blades. In front of the blades is a caster wheel and that's how you set the depth of cut. In the back, you adjust the depth by using an adjuster that's inside the battery compartment. These seven inch blades are very sharp, so be careful. And you see how close they get to the edge. That helps out with your trimming, so you have to do less work. All right, I've got the battery fuse installed and I'm just gonna drop the battery power pack within the robo mode. And you see it well oh, wakes up here. The safety instructions when operating the mower. No way! This really is a robot. Not only does it have a, an automatic mower and mover, but it talks to you as well. And for those of you that love video games, it's got a PlayStation style joystick, which also shows you controls and settings on the menu. So it's a fully interactive device. Now, if you want to charge it, which we're going to do, we're going to let this thing charge overnight. Just take the charger out and plug it into this little jack here. We've got it charging, as evidenced on the indicator there. And here's something I wish my car would do. When you bump it, on the bumper, it makes a noise to let you know that it's hitting something. Now this thing is really cute. Now we have to run the perimeter line around the edge of your home. Now be sure and use the guide to make sure the spacing's correct. I've overlapped mine a little bit so I get a little bit of edging over the concrete. Now, you have to energize the perimeter in order for the RoboMo to follow the line. To start the RoboMo, line it up facing the perimeter and press the green button. So now he's warming up, playing his little song. Turns on his blades, and now he's looking for the wire. This is the life. If you want to find me this summer, you might as well look for me in this lawn chair in my front yard while the little Robomo runs circles around me. Who knows, maybe by the end of the summer I'll have him doing a few tricks for me, let's say. Hey, one trick he's got down pretty well, it's bringing me the iced tea. Gotta love the Robomo. Salute. The Dave Witch Project. Unbelievable. <laughs> Your yard is a mess, man. Very cool. You say 
it works. It, it, it really works. This, this technology, it, it's a, a battery operated uh, device. Now this so. line stuck out. Is it? I mean, does yeah. it get ugly? I mean, no. It you use this edging guide to go along the side of your house or mm -hmm. go along the boundary, and you basically uh, locate the perimeter wire underneath this. You know, it's really well laid out. And remember camping with the Boy Scouts, you just sure. use these stakes and you put the stakes along the wire like every six feet or so. And this is basically the same technology that the electronic dog leashes use. Right. Uh -huh. yeah, they my keep the dog in. Okay. So the lawnmower follows this wire and the wire gets grown in by the grass. So in my segment, you could see a little bit about that green wire. That's because it was fresh. I just put it in place. Yeah, but best once, part of your lawn. Yeah. yeah, but you push the uh, button to energize it and uh, the, the wire creates a, basically a magnetic field that the Robomo, first it follows the perimeter twice to edge, and then it does a zigzag back and forth movement back across the lawn, and uh, it does the mowing that way. And it's, it's really great, it kind of spins around. It, the battery lasts about four hours. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes about an hour to mow each portion of my lawn. So I have it do the left side of the front yard, the right side of the front yard. One thing that you can do, and that's why the, the joysticks incorporated with it is, for sections that you can't mow automatically, like between the sidewalk and the street, mm -hmm. those little patches of grass, they're too small to run the perimeter wire. But you can walk behind it and uh, uh, maintain the blade speed via this uh, little blade button here, and you use the joystick to drive the mower. Now, I don't like, that's the one thing I don't like about it. Using this as a walk behind lawnmower is very slow okay. because it's electronic. So you, you look really, very lazy too. Yeah, and my neighbors, you know, if you want to meet people in your neighborhood. Get yeah. one of these. Oh my gosh, get one of these. Ask. I have met more people <laughs> that I did not know. I imagine. And, uh, but yeah, you, I think you'll still need a weed whip and you'll still need a mower because this, this gets pretty close, but with the, uh, the edges, as soon as it hits something, as evidenced by the little uh, roadrunner noise it makes, it does back off and it, it, it tries to make another approach to it. That is cool. Friendlyrobotics.com if That's you right. want to learn more about it. Mm -hmm. $4.99 and you can finance it, so it's less expensive than a 14-year-old. And I need to run because all these 14-year-olds are after me now. <laughs> yeah. I'm showing you the secret on how to save money. Put Very them on cool. a no college for you, 14-year-old. <laughs> Thanks, Dave.